What is good? Welcome to uh, a very hectic vlog. So I am out of my house. My house that I owned for two years. I sold it up on a whim. It was a good seller's market. Sold it. Thought I would be able to find something. Time went on, time went on. I had to quickly get out. So found a rental in the last week and we moved in. So this place is cool. Not as cool as my old house, but the idea is Morgan and I, the reason I sold my house is because Morgan and I want to start fresh, new, in our own place with things we want in the house rather than her just moving into my house. That doesn't seem very great when you're talking about starting a new life together. So, so I hired movers, moved all the stuff in here, quickly give you a tour. Boom, little breakfast nook. This place is a little bit older. Bathroom in here, great room, you know, a lot of boxes. I got the master this way. Everything's a mess. So my old house was 4,100 square feet. This house is 2,900 square feet. My old house had a pool. This house has a hot tub. So again, a little bit of a downgrade until we find a place, some land where we want to build or if we can just find this amazing dream house. We want a place where we could have a home gym. We want about 4,200 square feet, um, a boat garage. So backyard for Hobbs is still nice. It's still big. Ping pong table came, you know that's a must. Again, a cool big backyard. The thing I like about this spot, no neighbors can see into the backyard. So when Morgan's out here tanning in her Australian thong bikini, the neighbors won't be uh, peeping over. Just kidding, they didn't in my last house, but they probably were like, ugh, that girl needs to put on some clothes. We're in Utah. Hot tub over here, cool hot tub, really cool view of the city. So it'll work. It's a six month rental. Hopefully in that time, we either find some property that we for sure want to build our dream house on or maybe we find a house that will check off all the boxes so my life is just absolutely crazy i'm leaving to boise tomorrow i broke my polaris in the last vlog you guys saw the the polaris i broke a wheel on that so that's getting fixed um supplements we're actually going to go to the gym and work out here i'm going to get a meal trifecta meal trifecta has been saving my ass because i haven't had any time to prepare meals or or do anything. So we're gonna get a trifecta meal. We're then gonna go work out, get some pre-workout from the new supplement range, try a new flavor, and uh, just about maintaining. In this crazy time, like getting to the gym and just doing something, even if it's 30, 40 minute workouts, gonna be better than nothing. Cause with all of this craziness, in the past I might be like, oh, I need to get the whole entire house unpacked and then I would get overwhelmed and I wouldn't work out and I would just be stressed. Now it's like, okay, do what you can, take bites. Take bites. How do you eat an elephant? What at one bite at a time. And what I mean by that is when you got a ton of things going on in your life, all you can do is what you can do. And that's one bite at a time. Do one thing at a time. I still need to work out. I still need to exercise. I still need to eat properly. You do the best you can and then you have to be okay with it. On that note, let's get ready to go to the gym. Welcome. Just got to the gym, trying to get in that state of mind right there. We got Jake and Brody down there working out already. We're gonna join them. Hey Mitch, you ready to take over the filming duties? Yeah, man. All right, you want this camera? I'll get mine. <laughs> All right, in three, two, one, let's go. Started, yeah, I got ho I got Hobbs hair on me, bro. My dog dad, okay? You ain't know a thing about that, Mitch. You got no responsibilities in your life. You're 21, just kidding. <laughs> um, we are hitting an upper body day. So training is, I've been golfing a lot, as you can tell in this beautiful, beautiful tan line there. So we're doing chest and back though today, followed up by some conditioning. Everything we do is not just training for looks, it's also training for athletic ability. So my whole life is this balance of wanting to look a certain way and wanting to be able to function and train a certain way. So all of our training programs kind of embody that. At Fitness Culture, we have a swole program, lean program, athlete program, power program. So we kind of then emphasize Put a little micro influence on all those other little things but every single program we have is designed to get you stronger designed to get you more mobile designed to get you more powerful but then like i said depending upon what your micro goal is we can help that out and go more into depth with that so today we're going to be doing a swole program which is just super set chest and back and then we're going to get after a little conditioning simple right follow along let's go all right so we've had two warm-up sets we're now just working into our uh we're now getting into our working sets going 12 10 8 neutral grip incline dumbbell press. All right, so 
So 30 seconds rest in between. We're going to a neutral grip pull up all the way down. That's gonna be the most important thing here. And then a one second squeeze at the top. It's gonna be hard to do 12 reps here. As we come down in reps, we're gonna throw on a little bit of weight here. So 12 reps just gonna be body weight. Split, huh? That's the Jim Douche voice without the filter. Set of 10 here. I just weighed myself. I only weigh 213. I fluctuate. If I don't stay on top of my nutrition, which again with the move and everything, I have not been, I'll drop five pounds quick. It's because I don't eat enough. I just go hours and hours. I'm like, oh, I haven't eaten in eight hours. So I started packing meals. It's gonna be the only way I keep my weight up. <laughs> about that Mitch. Hundos for 10. Took him for a ride. Saddle up pony. Come on everyone jump on. We're going for a ride. Second set on the pull ups. Like I said we're going to put a little bit a little bit of weight around the waist. Still want to keep it under control with that squeeze at the top. We got 10 reps. So I'm going to see if we can't go 15 extra pounds for 10 reps. Trying to keep it under a minute now. First set was 30 seconds. Definitely not going to be able to keep up with that pace. So 30 seconds to a minute we'll say. When you stretch, when you do the chest stretch in the gym. Grab onto something. Bring that chest out. You don't want to come here. Really rotate that, get that shoulder, get that pec, get the tricep just in case. Oh, hey, someone's watching over there. Oh, oh look at the tricep. Look at, look at, look at, okay. So we, uh, we hit 220, obviously with dumbbells, so a little bit heavier than it would be 220 with a barbell for eight. I'm 213 plus 25 for eight on the pull-up, so looking about 248. Next up, decline. So we did that incline chest. Now doing a little decline titty work here. And then uh, titty work? some titty work. Yeah. Work. Say it, say it. What, Titty City? That's it! I was waiting for that. Looking at the motherfucking mayor, Titty City, right <laughs> here, son. <laughs> LOLs. Lifting, LOLs. Good times. Super setting this with lap pull down and some shrugs. Just, just walking out of here with a sick upper body pump today. First set. Biggest thing I like to do here, actually scoop my butt away from the pad a little bit. <sighs> shoulder pain on that one. Gotta do some more mobility work. All right, 12 reps. And on this one, I'm gonna go behind the back. I know there are so many people out there. No, Steve, not behind the back. Yes, behind the back. I didn't show you guys the pre-workout. I didn't know if I could show you guys the name, but I'm just gonna say it anyways. I got one of our pre-workouts called Alien Elixir. I can't say with 100% certainty when we hit the market it's gonna be called that. I'm voting for it, because I think it was amazing flavor. I don't know what kind of flavor comes to mind when you say Alien Elixir, but it's bomb. And it's definitely got me in the mood right now. The mood for what? That pump. 10 reps, we're gonna move the hands a little bit closer and really focus on that scoop. Yeah, buddy. Gotta buckle up for that one. Had to buckle up, man. Buckle up for safety, you know? You don't wanna be in an accident, man. I used to always say last set, best set. In my videos lately, the last two with the Buttery Bros, we used to just say shirts are dumb. Shirts are dumb. I'm gonna put that on a wall in the next gym. Shirts are dumb. Just be a whole gym of meatheads working out with no shirts on. Shirts are dumb, man. Let's go ask these guys. I'm just gonna go walk over there with my shirt off. Just ask if shirts are dumb. Hey, Hayden, finish this sentence. Shirts are optional. 
close. <laughs> shirts are <laughs> mandatory in the gym. Place. Oh! Wow. Shirts are really? optional. Dumb. <laughs> shirts are dumb. As a buttery, a buttery bro special. But no, here in fitness culture, if you guys do come in, um, do as I say, not as I do. Wear a t-shirt. Okay. I just wanted to take you guys to Titty City for a minute. All right. Final superset here. Cable crossover. It's on this. Instead of being up here, I'm actually gonna bend over. Be right down there, keep you more of a bend in the arms. Three. Pretend I'm hugging a tree. Right into the next superset. Since the shirts came off, the pumps from better there. I like about supersetting chest and back. Get a lot of work in in a pretty short time. So it's almost like a little mini cardio. We're now about to jump to the main cardio though. It's gonna be spicy. Kettlebell jumps and shuttles. I've probably gotten asked about these shoes more than any others. And you can see Jake's, Jake's got them as well because they're great shoes because they're just very light but wide on the bottom. So it's kind of nice to just a good all around everything shoe. You can lift in them, you can do a little bit of conditioning in them. I wouldn't do a ton of change of directions, but pretty good just all around. All right, so hey, on this, we're just gonna be doing some kettlebell jumps, working on explosive, get up in the air, and then your legs are gonna be exhausted, and you got a shuttle run after that, so. Don't judge how we run. It's, yeah. You run with uh, a lot of baby deer legs. Exactly. If you can run after doing this, then you can run when you're fresh. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. All right, one down, four to go. Kettlebell, grab two kettlebells, same weight. We're gonna be squat jumps, touch the ground. One, two, we got 15. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, three, fifteen. Oh my gosh, second round, way worse. Deep, deep burn. It's time to go eat. Well, once I get hungry again. All I know is that food feels like coming up right now. Conditioning sucks, but you gotta do it. That was a damn good workout. So we're back up here in the office now. I'm drinking one of these. They're awesome, by the way. Zero calories. I'm all about macro-friendly things. I think that's probably the easiest way to get lean is just have your go-to stuff that's low calories. And then also, Obviously, Whoop, been a big proponent of Whoop, so I'm gonna tell you guys right now how many calories we burned in that spicy ass conditioning segment. So my day strain right now is a 10. My HRV has been low. So basically, um, every, every day when you wake up, you answer a bunch of questions. So I'm just gonna go over these questions with you guys right now so you can see how Whoop does it. So, I'm gonna do some screen recording. Here we go. Have any, have any alcoholic drinks? No, I didn't. Wear blue light blocking glasses before bed. No, I didn't. Have any caffeine? Yes, how many servings? Yesterday I had our, I had our Alien Elixir pre-workout. My last serving was about four. I was moving, I needed caffeine, okay? So it was, just, it was definitely a caffeine day. Uh, viewed a screen device while in bed. I'm gonna say yes. I talked to Morgan right before I go to sleep. Screen device, TV, iPad, phone. So it was about 20 minutes we talked for. Felt control of your life. Um, this question here, I'm gonna say no. So felt in control of your life. No, I didn't. Just because with the move, supplements, brand X that Morgan and I are launching, um, got some cool things hopefully happening with men's health. Don't know if Biggest Loser is happening again. 
We want to build a new gym here in town. <clears throat> we just, just everything. I want to build a house, YouTube. Anyhow, enough about that. But no, I did not feel control of my life. Did you hydrate sufficiently? Uh, somewhat. How many out, eight ounce glasses of water did I have? Probably 12 when I should have drank 24. Um, eat any food close to bedtime. Yeah, I do that at night, especially when Morgan's not around. I eat food. So uh, yeah, about 9 p.m. I think was the last time I ate. Take a melatonin supplement. Melatonin makes me dream weird. A lot of people, it's great for them. It makes me have the craziest, most vivid dreams. Uh, did I read any non-screen device while in bed? Hate to say this, but I didn't. We used to, Morgan and I used to read. We need to get back to that. Engage in any sexual activity. <sighs> Morgan's watching this. No, I definitely did not. Um, share your bed. Hobbs? Hobbs tried to get in my bed. I think it's because we were in a new, a new place. He tried to get in my bed last night like 10 times. His first night in the new rental, didn't love it. So, but no, I did not let him in the bed. Sleep in the same bed as usual. Yes, but not the same house. Listen to White Noise app. Yep, I listened to one called Calm. Experience any stress? Yes. Um, spend time stretching. I did after my workout. So yes, when did you stop? About 1.30. Okay, and then it spits me out and then I can make a, a note of anything and it kind of spits me out. So today, I have a recovery score of, I have a decent recovery score. I have a recovery score of 79. Um, that's not bad at all. So it's kind of, Based on that recovery score, it tells you basically how hard. It says you're at a balanced level of strain today, going for 16.8. Again, their strain is all built into their algorithm. I'm at a 10, going for a 16.8 will promote fitness gains, but may diminish your body's ability to recover fully overnight. So I'm gonna be shooting for like around 15 tonight. So I'm gonna go do some cardio tonight. Tonight I think I'm gonna go for a run because our next video will be all about this new goal that I have with COVID. I need, I need some goals, I need some things. Since I can't travel with COVID, I need something to kind of direct my life towards, especially with the misses gone, um, something to take my mind off of everything I can't control. I have a problem, I like planning, I like being in control, I like visualizing my life. And right now, I'm all over the place, got so many things. I feel like I'm juggling 15 things and I'm just barely keeping them all up. So um, that will be up shortly. That video will be up next week, I should say. And uh, it'll be fun. I'm also gonna go to Boise. I'm gonna vlog that as well. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time. If you guys wanna check out Whoop, click the link on the description. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up.